Hello everyone, this is Teacher Newton and here is another edition of Improve Your English, Melhore Seu Inglês Podcast. In this week's episode, we are going to see some learning idioms. So first we are going to take a look at a text and then after see all the learning idioms of this text. Tom and Harry are twin brothers. Tom had, he, had set his sights on going to university, but some of his teachers told him his grades were not up to scratch. So he decided to work harder, burning the candle at both ends and studying long hours. As a result, his work improved in leaps and bounds, and he got a place at the university. Harry, on the other hand, was naturally clever. When he was younger, all his teachers thought he was on track for a place at university. In his last couple of years at school, however, he started getting poor grades and had a lot of ground to make up in order to improve. Unlike his brother, though, he didn't work round the clock and as a result, he didn't get into university. So let's take a look at the idioms here. Tom had, his, had set his sights on going to university. Set his sights on means decided to achieve something. You can also say have your sights set on doing something. Uh, his teachers told him his grades were not up to scratch. Up to scratch means not up to a satisfactory standard of, or quality. So he decided to work harder, burning the candle at both ends. Going to bed, burning the candle at both ends means going to bed late and getting up early. As a result, his work improved in leaps and bounds. To improve in leaps and bounds means uh, progressing rapidly. You can also say by leaps and bounds. Um, Harry, on the other hand, was naturally clever when he was younger. All his teachers thought he was on track for a place at university. On track for a place at university means working on and likely to uh, working on and likely to achieve something. Um, however, he started getting poor grades and had a lot of ground to make up in order to improve. A lot of ground to make up means a lot of work to catch up. And unlike his brother, though, he didn't work round the clock. He didn't work round the clock means he didn't work all the time. Let's take a look some remembering and forgetting concerning learning some idioms on, on this. So this uh, it's a question they made to a lot of students. How do you learn and remember new vocabulary in English? So here are some few tips from other students. Cassia, Cassia said, I usually try to learn new expressions off by heart, especially when they don't exist in my language. Off by heart means to learn something that you can remember it perfectly. Sadiq said, I've got a memory like a sieve, so I find a mind map or drawing uh, can help. Uh, I find that a mind map or drawing can help. If I have a few keywords or an image, it jogs my memory. So when you got a memory like a sieve means that you have a bad memory. And when you say it jogs my memory means it helps me to remember. Massimo, because I like acting on my, in my spare time, I often learn certain things like I would learn a script so I can repeat them word for word. It's stuff like irregular verbs, for example. So word for word means remember something using exactly the same words. Farah said that school we were always taught to learn by rote, so uh, we could repeat things from memory and I still use that technique to help me remember new vocabulary. So to learn by rote means uh, to learn something to be able to repeat it exactly. It's the same as to learn by heart. Anna said, I've got a terrible memory. Most things just go in one ear and out the other, so I always try to make a mental image when I learn new words. Often it's something funny. It fi I find that helps the words stick in my mind better. Okay, so go in one ear and out the other means are forgotten immediately. <laughs> so, and stick in my mind means to be easily remembered. And that's the idioms, the learning idioms of this week. I hope you enjoy it.
Keep in tune for our next week's episode of Melhore Seu Inglês, Improve Your English. And this was the Melhore Seu Inglês podcast of this week. Please follow us on Instagram, Melhore Seu Inglês, and visit our YouTube channel, Melhore Seu Inglês, which has more than 900 English video classes. For anyone interested in Skype classes focused on conversation, please contact me, Teacher Newton, or Teacher Erica. Keep studying English and see you on the next episode of Improve Your English Podcast.